Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. We are as always Arne and Carlos and today Carlos is going to make fodikor. Yes, fodikor is a traditional uh, Norwegian dish. It is what uh, we today call Norway's national dish. We make it during the fall because mm -hmm. in the fall a certain item is in season. And Arne, can you explain closer what is fodikor? Fodikor is lamb in cabbage. Yes, so this is a Norwegian four <laughs> and this is a Norwegian kol. This is the four, main ingredients. Yeah, so four i kol. So you put the she, lamb or lamb in cabbage. In cabbage. <laughs> you see, I'm not a cook. No, Arne is not a cook and he's not gonna be with us in the kitchen while I prepare the dish. So uh, in the meantime, while I do the preparations, Arne, you can go outside in the garden. We are in fall now. We've got a lot of lovely leaves turning red. Maybe you could do a little bouquet or two for the table. We're expecting company today. That I can do. So we're going to be four people. I'm going to show you how we set the table as well. And for that, we need a little decoration that Arne is going to be taking care of while I get started on dinner. And the cabbage is for you. Thank and you. I'll take this. This one you can take so, back so to the office. So you don't boil it. I'm not going to boil it, don't worry. So see you around. Good luck. <laughs> and we'll do this. So, uh, forical is very simple. It's uh, sheep's meat or lamb's meat, cabbage, and some spices and some water. And it's boiled or actually steamed for about two and a half hours. And then you have a delicious wonderful fall dish that is very typical of Norway. And you can imagine we have a lot of sheep in this country. Uh, so uh, right now they're in season. In Norway, the sheep, they roam freely in our countryside. So they're all nice and healthy. And uh, so they have a great life until they end up on our table, which is good to know. So we've got about eight servings uh, here uh, on, on my counter. I'm not going to talk about uh, American measurements because I'm European and we do everything in metric. Uh, but I'm going to put a, a, a recipe on our website at arnacarlos.com and you can go in there and for the recipe in writing I will convert everything. Otherwise you can convert it yourself. There's conversion tables on, on YouTube or Google or whatever that you can use. So anyway, you need cabbage obviously. Um, I've got really nice cabbage here, uh, about three kilos of cabbage. Uh, you need pepper. I've got about uh, eight tablespoons of whole pepper. Uh, we're going to need water, uh, six uh, deciliters of water. And you're going to need some really good high quality lamb's meat, preferably with the bones. Uh, different cuts, I suppose. Uh, and as you can see, there's a lot of nice fat on them as well. Uh, which you really need for this dish. So you can see here are my cuts of lamb. Really nice, about three kilos. And remember, always with some bones because the bones is what is going to give this dish a really great flavor. So, to do foricol, we start with the cabbage and uh, we're just going to cut this cabbage pretty... I'm just going to take away these. Yep. So we will start by cutting this cabbage in uh, half like this. And then I just uh, chop them up kind of like in slices, uh, relatively even slices like this. So that, uh, yeah, this kind of a slice. There's loads of food here today. We're only four people, but Arne actually likes, because this is, Forikol is actually Arne's favorite dish, and he loves it the day after. So we're gonna eat it today, and he's gonna be enjoying this quite a lot. But then tomorrow, he's gonna wanna have more. And it's always nicer the day after, for some reason. So probably because it kind of gets to stay overnight and its own juices. And uh, on the second day, the flavor is even more powerful. So, it's a super easy dish to make, uh, very traditional. 
We've been eating this for a very long time here in Norway and uh, everybody eats it, everybody likes it, or most people anyway. Um, just gonna start washing this up. And yeah, they have this, uh, they had this competition uh, a year ago or two years ago, and even the Norwegian government declared it to be Norway's national dish. Uh, I think uh, Norwegian meatballs was number two, but this was an absolute number one. So I'm just going to get this washed. Okay, so we are going to start filling our uh, pan with cabbage and lamb and pepper and a little bit of salt, of course. So um, you want to start with the meat. Definitely want to start with the meat. Uh, and usually you do the fatty side down. So I'm going to look for some fat pieces to put down in my pot. Let's see, this is, yeah, this is good. Here's a nice one. So put a couple of these down here to start. Ah, oh, here's a great one here. Okay, so once I have a few pieces of meat, I'm going to go grab my cabbage and I'm going to cover this with cabbage. Just a layer of that. Hmm. I'm sure Arne is very, very, very excited about dinner tonight. Okay, so I have my layer of cabbage. I'm going to add, um, in total, I'm going to be adding four teaspoons of salt. So start with one teaspoon. There you go. And in total, I'm doing eight uh, tablespoons of pepper. Uh, full pepper. Uh, so let's just start with, let's just go for one, maybe one and a half. Okay, that's layer number one. So I'm going to be layering now number two, layer number two, adding my pieces of lamb on top of the cabbage. There you go, some salt. So this will be teaspoon number two. Grab my cabbage. Put the cabbage on top. So yeah, super simple, super easy. And uh, usually the most simple things are the best, in my opinion. Fewer ingredients and you put a lot of love in your cooking. So uh, that's what we like. Okay, so that's number two. Then we grab our pepper. We add a little bit of that on top. There we go. Back to the meat. Another layer. Freya is also hungry, I think. So you know the process now. Just layer upon layer of lamb and cabbage. You begin with the lamb and you finish with cabbage. And now we're just topping this up. A little more salt. I like using Himalaya salt. I don't know why. I like the color. I guess. And we finish her up. I'll just put the rest of the pepper in there. There you go. And finally top it off with the final layer of cabbage. Mmm, this is going to be really good. The basics are done. We've got lamb, cabbage, lamb, cabbage, lamb, cabbage to the top. We need some water for that. Uh, the thing is, it's not going to be boiling in the water. It's going to be steaming. So actually, you've got this whole bowl or pot full of food 
and you only need six deciliters of water, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's about up to there. So it's not a lot. So I'm just going to pour this uh, little amount of liquid, pouring it over my dish like this. There you go. And it's done. Very simple to prepare, very quickly. And now we need this to simmer for a while for it to become a delicious meal. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a very high heat to start with so that it just goes up to a boil. And then I'm gonna let it simmer for two and a half hours in very low heat. So it's gonna be slowly cooking itself. Uh, the fat from the lamb is gonna be melting. The cabbage is gonna release a lot of liquid uh, together with the water that is already there. And in two and a half hours, we are gonna have a super simple but super amazing dish. So I can already hear the water boiling. So yeah, it's basically two and a half hours now. Uh, so while we're waiting for this to uh, get ready, uh, why don't we start setting the table uh, in anticipation of our guests arriving. Uh, I'm just going to take out all the stuff that I want to do for the table. I'm going to call Arne and we're going to do this together and uh, see uh, if we can come up with a great table design for tonight. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay, so Arne's back. While this is uh, cooking, we're going to set the table. Today we are in the kitchen. It's going to be a little bit informal, so we're not going to do an over-the-top decoration. But you have been in the garden, haven't I've you? I've been in the garden. And you've brought some little things. Things like from autumn, the garden. Autumn, autumn colors. colors, I see. You've got some I white. I have one more. Yeah, you've got some white berries, some geraniums. Yeah, put them next to each other. But I do want to say, tell a couple of things. The, the little salt and pepper uh, crystal bowls that we have. Uh, we have one each. Arne has his and I have mine. But when we have guests, we share them. They are one of our best flea market finds ever. Because we bought them for nothing. And They're listen. actually real Baccarat crystal. No, no. But look, listen. No, 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 no. Well, be careful. <laughs> well, let, let, let's try again. You can't hear it. No, you have to, yeah, you can. Have to be empty. Be careful. Anyway, there are Baccarat crystal and we paid nothing for them. Uh, and they're quite valuable actually. So very lucky flea market find. And then uh, napkins. Today we are going to do these lovely little things. These come from Chiapas in Mexico. They're actually towels and they're hand embroidered by the indigenous uh, population in Chiapas. And I really love them. So it's a special occasion today. We're celebrating uh, Foricol. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're literally celebrating that Arne gets to eat one of his favorite meals. So uh, on a special occasion like this, we will add a nice uh, colored napkin on each uh, seat. And the table is almost ready. So then we just go and sit and wait Yeah. while the kettle boils. Now we are... I'm hungry now. So am I, but we still have to wait. Hang on, this one came out wrong. Where's the moment? Let's see. Oh, there we go. You want them to look more or less the same. There you we know, go. You're the only one who will see. Well, okay, so here we are. A fall <laughs> table by Arne and Carlos. Our food's cooking, the table is set, our guests are probably going to be here in two hours. So uh, Arne is probably going to sit and watch the fortical uh, make itself. Uh, and I guess I'm just going to go <laughs> do something else yeah. in the meantime. So uh, hang, out, hang around for a couple of hours and we're actually going to fast forward this and show you 
what the meal looks like. So uh, stay tuned and we will be right back. <laughs> right back. <laughs> Well, we're back after two and a half hours. I boiled some potatoes. Uh, these are new potatoes, uh, which we will be having with our forikol arne. Yes. Now I know you're excited. I'm ready. Okay, so always. let's take the potatoes to the table. Uh, and uh, here we've got our pot with this forikol uh, meat. And the smell here is... Divine. Mm, divine. And I think that this is <laughs> how a lot of Norwegian uh, houses probably smell right now. We're in the weekend. It's Sunday today. And a lot of people do eat this on the weekends and on special occasions. So um, shall I um, open the lid so yes. that we can get more of that lovely... Mmm. Yep. This is definitely ready. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to this. So let's and I'm eat. sure you are very much yeah, looking I'm forward. ready. Yeah, She's we've got ready. some guests today. They're a bit camera shy, so uh, you won't be seeing them. Uh, but Arne is already sitting down. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm so ready. I'm gonna put some of this on the plate. I'm gonna plate one for you, so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll quickly talk about the drink, uh, and then uh, we'll enjoy this meal with our friends on our own afterwards. So let's see what we can do here. Move this closer. You've got lots of delicious cabbage here. You've got all this lamb meat. I'm just gonna stir this in a little bit. Mmm. This looks really good. It's like a Christmas. Yeah, but in the fall, this is typical fall <laughs> food. So uh, let's do a little plate. Some lamb's meat, some cabbage. A little bit of the juice. Remember, we only did six deciliters of water. I mean, look at that. And I'll do a potato. And there you go. It's very rustic. The whole, the, the plate is very rustic. I think the, the placing, uh, the decor of the table is very rustic. Uh, we brought the pot to the table, which is what we do in Arne's family's farm because... Yeah, and now it's, it's time to eat. Now it's time to eat. Um, <laughs> so uh, a lot of people might want to have a tips as well for what to drink. And uh, we went to the shop today and we were recommended something with a little bit of acidity, bubbles. And we love our bubbles, don't we Arne? So we're yeah. having apple cider. Uh, and I think that the apple is actually something that works very well with this kind of uh, rustic food. So let's pour a glass of yummy apple cider. So our friends are here. We're going to ask them to join us and we are going to have this lovely meal together. Uh, we hope that you have enjoyed uh, following this recipe. A lot of you have been asking for Norwegian recipes. We plan on doing a few more for Christmas, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, remember to, uh, you know, uh, like the video with a big thumbs up if you like it. And please subscribe to our videos. There's loads of inspiration and fun here on our channel. So thank you for watching, Arne. And Thank you. Let's say bye to everybody now. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's dig in. Let's dig in. <laughs>